I like doing lightning storms too. You can get the lightning, it's really nice. You can digitally collect the EMMC from in between the lightning strikes. You can watch the the light of the lightning follow the timelines all over the fucking place. It's amazing. I love it. I've done it back when back in the beginning, right? Probably one of my second or third series I was already doing that because I that's when I started seeing the builders in the lightning strikes themselves and I said oh so the light follows the builders down through these lines that are going everywhere and I did not know there were timelines at the time you can catch some of that too Oh yeah, we're gonna get some lightning. Good deal. <laughs> I gotta run into the store. raining too hard to collect the EMNC, at least here, damn it. <laughs> That's my differential. I'm just going to leave the camera rolling because maybe I'll get some, uh, maybe I'll get some of the light here. Yeah, we can collect the EMNC in there. I'm just looking for my lights and shadows. Lights and shadows, angles and distances of perspective. Blah, blah, blah. There it is. And I'm going to try to run into the store. I'm going to get fucking soaked. Tilt your head to the right or left or whatever. Spin your head around and you'll see what I'm showing you.
Trying to have conversations with the camera while doing research videos is not really that easy, you know. I'm trying to show people too, anyone who comes along, that this is every day. This is every day we can see this. This is not a, the clouds over my head. This is not the magical trees in my backyard. This is not the uh, whimsical rock uh, that we were all told of, right? This is reality now. And the fact that we could all see it always, there was no time when we could not see it. There were only times when we refused to look. When we refused to look thousands of years now, we've been refusing to look. At least, oh, there goes some more lightning. At least it seems like it's been thousands of years. Maybe it's only been, you know, maybe it's been less, but it seems like it's been a couple thousand years at least that um, we wanted to be lied to, the, the human population has demanded our own enslavement like this and refused reality that's all around us to see, for us to see, hear, smell, feel, and we, we, we just refuse it. And the reality is, where are you? I hear you, but I call you. Around to the fucking house. What the fuck are you guys in a rush for? Oh, because you're going taking the truck out. Gotcha. Okay. Um. How was I talking about? I don't know. The video's gonna end in a minute anyway. So, anyways, um. So yeah, we were all able to see this all along. That's gonna be um, a hard thing, fighting our training, our programming. Anybody that does see it, mo most people have to run away from it. Um, you guys, you three guys, Dean and the other two guys that are texting me or whatever, commenting in the comment section in the last few days, if you guys really see it, you have to understand what that means for yourselves, for what you're about to partake upon yourself. I'll just say this, too. Um, you know, Dean made some compliments. Hold on. Dean made a few compliments to me for um, seeing it all and not running away from it, and that kind of thing. So... I had to watch my ego. I had to be careful of my ego as he told me that. And stronger than my ego was my happiness that someone else was finally admitting to, to being able to see it. Not arguing with the 7.8 billion zombie slaves constantly about all the shit that we were lied to that they for some reason insist on believing things rather than knowing things. So to, um, I gotta pull over, I can't even fucking see where I'm going. Let's see, where am I? Let's 
So I just wanted to mention that to you guys, just to you, to you three guys in particular. Okay, so I'm not an entertainer. I don't want to be bothered with the entertainment aspect of it. Some of you coming along that see it might be in that field of entertainment. That's okay. Use your talents to spread this to everyone. Because if everyone's looking, if you force the 7.8 billion zombie slaves to see what they don't want to see, what they've never wanted to look at, everybody will wake up. My windows are all fogging up too now. So let's see here. What's going on here? So low. It's funny too. We could do have some fun. Watch this. I didn't even think of this. How many minutes are left? Okay, here's another one. I'm gonna shut the defrogger off. I'll be ready to turn it on. I'll leave it on. Leave it. Leave it off. I mean, leave the AC on. And I'm gonna shut the wipers off. And we're gonna collect the EMNC from the raindrops falling out of the car. So what I'm doing is I'm looking for my angles and distance. and shadows. Hold on. There we go. I can do it this way. So I can see. I'm going to use the trees in the back as the uh... here we go. I love it, man. I fucking love it. Alright, so we got a lot of human influence going on here, right? So I usually don't like that. I, I don't usually do things with human influence because you got the windshield itself that's human influence that the water's falling on. But it still goes to show you and still goes to prove the point because I can pause the camera right now and I can digitally collect the EMNC from in here. I, you have to pause it because the raindrops start rolling down the windshield and everything. And no, that's not uh, gravity. That's electromagnetic current. You just call it gravity because you go along with human laws. So as it's pouring on, on this windshield, we're right now is collecting the EMNC. And I'll be able to go at the same thing I just did with the rock, the boulder this afternoon. Same thing I was doing with the trees this afternoon. Same thing I'm doing when I stick my hand in front of the camera. Same thing I'm doing when I'm aimed at the clouds. Same thing I'm doing when I got the telescope set up and we're looking at the moon. It's all the same. Digital collection of electromagnetic nanocarbon. So I was saying in an earlier video before this one ends is that if you guys really see this and you're really real people, then I'm gonna ask you to start making playlists of all the videos that actually strike you, the ones that you can see things in, the ones that are standing out to you. It'll tell us uh, contrast colors, what, what colors your eyes are most attracted to, what's gonna allow you to have the most contrast. What, some people I noticed love that brown bottle. They like the orange color and the red. Others like the blue mixed with the orange. Others like this one here right now is blue, yellow, and the HD lens. Others eyes are more attracted to this one. This is the one I've been using all day today. So I'm gonna have three or four videos going up of this particular color filter. We've lost contrast in our eyes. There's a lot of things I do explain as I'm going through the series, but I don't like to do that for every um, research video because then it looks too much like entertainment. Let the entertainment part of this be on your guys' hands. Let it be that you guys make some um, playlists of your favorite videos of mine and there are thousands of videos to choose from. So anything, that, anything I say that rings a bell, anything that you see that rings a bell, anything that sounds off to you, Go ahead and put it together, make 20 video playlists of each um, uh, playlist, and then make another playlist so that those playlists can get out there. I swear that fucking lightning is looking for me today. It keeps going off all around me everywhere I fucking go today. <laughs> I can't man. 
and this fucking storm. I'm trying to think what I left at home. When I left, I put the lawnmower away. Uh, all right, so I got to turn the wipers back on. We're not going to get the clouds to do this much rain anyway, unless I was like in the garage doing it or something. But now would have fallen on the windshield. Um, so all right, I'll be back.